Hey guys, Dustin here, CEO of 630. Want to talk to you today about how to use hand brakes or caliper brakes, but mainly hand brakes on a bicycle. Um, basically two different types of bikes on a bike. There's coaster brakes that you could have where you pedal backwards to stop. And then there's bikes on your hand brakes. Now the hand brakes, there can be different mechanisms for the stopping. There could be um, disc brakes. Um, or there could be the, the caliper brake pads, caliper with the brake pads. Now, I'm just going to show you specifically if you have brakes that are controlled by your hands, how do you use them? Um, seems very simple, but if you've never ridden a bike before, it might be a little bit challenging. So let's get into it. So you're going to have um, two brakes, two, two levers. You're going to typically have one on the right hand, one on the left hand. Now, on the right hand, you're typically also going to have your shifter. It could either be a twist shifter or it could be a trigger shift, uh, which you're going to push with your thumb. So you're going to have two brakes. Now, you're going to have a front and a rear. So number one suggestion I'm going to say is if you're riding super, super fast, um, either only, and you're coming to a stop, either only use the rear brake or engage both brakes. But if you're riding really fast, you don't want to just engage the front brake because that may... Uh, that might cause you to flip over your handlebars, especially if the brakes are really dialed in perfectly and the stopping power is uh, super on point. Um, could be very dangerous. So another thing is if you're coming downhill, either uh, you know go on the rear brake to ease into the stop or engage both brakes gradually, um, but don't pull either brakes. Don't pull either brake really tight. So let me show you what I mean. So if we're pedaling, so right here on your Another thing is your right hand is going to be your rear brake and your left hand is going to be your front brake. So if you're going along, again, now when you, when you brake on a, a bike, um, you don't have to pull it like this. You don't have to pull it all the way in. Um, you could just do a little and you could let the brake pad ease the wheel to a stop. Now this is true of disc brakes or brake pads. You don't have to engage it really quick. That's going to cause you to jolt or you might come to an immediate stop. Typically, it's not like what you're looking to do. Same as driving a car. When you drive a car, you're not going to slam your foot on the brake. You're going to ease that brake in depending on how much pressure you need or don't need. So um, you can actually have, you can adjust your brakes how you like. Um, if, you, if you like them to be a little looser, um, you know, more, t more play here, meaning like um, you can push it down and it'll only apply a light amount of pressure. You can adjust it that way, or you can have them really tight where you put a little bit of pressure and it grabs the wheel immediately. It's really up to you. Um, you know, an average in between is going to be something where, you know, you have to press it to about here to get full engagement. But if you have it here, it'll be rubbing the wheel here, rubbing a little bit here, not rubbing at all. Um, so yeah, you can find out how you like it. And you know, every brake pad, every bike, every handbrake is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be impossible to tune two bikes exactly the same. It's just going to be a very difficult task to accomplish. So as you ride your bike, you're going to get a feel for how much pressure you should apply on those handbrakes to stop. So let's just do this really quick. We're riding. And again, um, rear brake is right here. So you can see I clicked that and it stopped. So Again, for generally speaking, if you're riding casually, you really only need the rear brake and you could just give it a little bit. Let me flip to this side. Just give it a little. See how the wheel gradually stops. Now, let's go ahead and do that again. Now, if I grip this really tight, it stops like that. So that's not going to be ideal necessarily. So let's do one more. Again, you're just going to come in real easy. Already it's rubbing, and there you go, it stops. One more time. And you're just gonna have to find that and get comfortable with how much pressure. So it's already, it's already gripping, you can't see. Gripping more, now watch, we're gonna come to a stop. So that was a very slow, gradual stop. Now, um, on the front wheel, obviously we, we can't pedal to get this moving, but same thing applies. Um, you know, you've got your brake here. You just give it a little bit. There it goes to a stop. So again, typically I would stay with the rear brake on a very gradual braking. 
Um, you don't necessarily need the front brake um, unless you're going to engage both and you're going at high speeds, then engage both. So I hope that explains a little bit on how to use handbrakes on a bicycle. If you have any questions, please reach out the team at 630.com or call us 9310-982-2877 or comment below. If you have any questions, please comment below. We'd be happy to answer. And don't forget on our website, on the top navigation, we have a questionnaire, the body fit questionnaire tool. You can answer about 20 questions and it's going to help fit your body to the right type of bike. And also we have a 365 day test ride policy. If you don't love your bike and you ride it for 365 days, you can send it back. No restocking fee, free shipping both ways. No questions asked because our goal at 630 is to make sure you love your bike.